Today at the farm, we're sorting out our off-grid internet. Now, your first method, and by far the most expensive, as I believe it's about £160 a month for the not very fast at all broadband, is satellite internet. Now, you can get this anywhere in the world, obviously, because it's from satellites, but super expensive and quite a bit of a rigmarole to set up. And this is the second method. That is using mobile phone internet. As you can see, this is a SIM card here. I bought this router that you can plunk a SIM card in. Now, this router also comes with the option of putting an external aerial on. Now, you're going to want this if you don't have mobile phone signal. That's great. That way, you can plug on one of these. Now, this is an external aerial with some 5 meter cables. You can get bigger versions. This is an omnidirectional one. You can get a one that focuses in one particular direction and will travel much further, but you will need to know what direction your telephone, mobile phone, telephone mast is in if you're going to use not this sort, basically. This, this makes it really easy to set up because we can just literally put this anywhere, high up, connect it to this, and we'll have internet. So, we've just ran a little speed test of the router with no aerial at the moment, just its internal aerial. And as you can see, your internet speed is very slow. So then, now, I'm going to add on this external aerial to the ports at the back and get it five metres in the air. See what difference that makes. Fortunately, this particular router comes with an auto switch feature between the two aerials. So, as soon as you plug something in this external aerial, the internal one switches off. But if that's not the case, all you do, connect it up to a LAN cable, hook that up to a laptop or computer, and then basically get into the system of the router itself. And you do that through accessing the IP address that's on the bottom of this, and it'll come on the bottom of any router you get. So you go in there, then you're looking for some sort of system settings and then aerial settings. And in the aerial settings, it'll give you the option to switch between internal and external. And the external is what you want to set it on if you're going to be plugging in an aerial. So this aerial is really easy to put up. A couple of screws in the base of it there. Run the wires down to the router. Now we've got this pointed down towards that gap in the end of our field there because that's the direction of where our mobile telephone mast is. Now because of the omnidirectional nature of this aerial, don't need to do that but hopefully we should get a better signal because of it. So we're inside, inverter switched on, external aerials wired in, let's go do a speed test. There we go, 6-7 meg. So there we go, with the addition of the aerial, vast improvement on our internet speed. Now I definitely recommend using this mobile phone network setup rather than satellite internet because obviously it's way way cheaper. This entire setup with the router aerial and the first six months worth of unlimited data is about the equivalent of a month worth of just the line rental of the satellite internet. So this is well more cost effective. You don't have any phone signal at all research it big time first on whether you can get an aerial that will reach to your nearest mobile tower before you go ahead because otherwise you'll have no chance you need to be able to have some sort of mobile connection to get this working now we're only about five miles away from the nearest tower so we only needed that little aerial but if you're about 10 or 20 miles away you're going to need a much much bigger aerial and like i say one of the ones that points in one direction and you need to point it directly at the tower now, if you have no line of sight at all to that tower, I don't know how well it'll work. But for us, and many, many people around the world now, as mobile phone towers are going up everywhere, this system is going to work fantastic. So that's it from this video from the farm. We now have internet. Just in time, the wind's kicking up now, so we can get inside and watch some more YouTube videos. Hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye-bye.